Harness Racing returned to the Big Butler Fairgrounds in Butler, Pennsylvania with Sire Stake action to open the month of July. Three $4,065 divisions of the two-year-old Colt Trotters opened the first day's card, with Procol Harum Chip winning the first split in 2-12 and 3 fifths. Brian Weaver drove the winner, which he co-owns with trainer Kim Good. In the second division, KT Tag Amit was an open-length winner for driver Eddie McKnight and trainer Ken Weaver. On top of the field, KT Tag Amit, open it up with every stride. KT Tag Amit. In the final division, Otto moved to the front of the quarter pole and never looked back, scoring in 211 and 3 fifths for trainer driver Marty Wollum. A Taglia Boo Colt, Otto is owned by Patricia Wollum and Acadia Farms. Four divisions of freshman Philly Trotters were up next, and the Weaver McKnight combination scored in the opening division with Witch's Magic Brew, who covered the mile in 216 and 2 fifths. In the second group, RT Girls Lie 2 won her first career race, going wire to wire in 218 and 2 fifths for trainer driver Bobby Rouget. A daughter of Ebanks, RT Girls Lie 2 is owned by the Brocious Racing Stable. The third division brought Wallen back to the winner's circle as Kelpie Hanover was a 211 victor. Owned by Dale Sweet, Hans Bachman, and Patricia Wallen, Kelpie Hanover is a daughter of SJ's Caviar. Another SJ's Caviar filly, Leona, won the final division for owner trainer Janet Irvine and driver Will Yoder in 214 and 2 fifths. Outside, down the stretch, a trot. It's Leona with the lead. The battle for second and third. Leona! Two Colt pacing divisions carry the largest purses of the day, with each race going for right around $6,100. Stripe and Star, owned and trained by Jason Shaw, won the first split in 207 and 3 fifths with Chris Shaw at the lines. Chris Shaw then swept the division as he catch drove Evening Shadows to a 205 and 3 fifth win. The day ended with four groups of freshman Philly Pacers facing the starter. Roger Hammer and Claire Corley's My Gal Hannah won the first division with Hammer driving in 209 and 2 fifths. In the second division, David Brickle guided his own DVC hopping attitude to an open length win in 206 and 4. In the third division, Countless Gold was a winner in 208 and 4 fifths, giving driver Corey Kreiser his first career driving victory. Down the stretch, a cap, outside, Boko Hanover, four wide, coming to the wire, and real appeal on the outside, Countless Gold, Countless Gold, Corey Kreiser's first. Finally, Hammer won his second of the day as Caramel Chino scored in 2.05 at the day's last race. A daughter of All-American native, Caramel Chino is now 2 for 2 in her career for owner-trainer Roger Hammer. Three-year-olds took to the track on the second day of the meet at Butler. Washington County was a winner in a three-year-old Colt Trot, scoring in wire-to-wire -wire fashion, covering the mile in 2.07 and 3 fifths for driver Will Yoder. Into the mile to trot. Washington County has the lead. R.T. Piccadilly is second. C.C. Shannon up third. Down the stretch they trot. It's all Washington County. Race in second. R.T. Piccadilly and C.C. Shannon up. Washington County. In the sophomore Philly trot, Caviar's Dancer scored in the opening division in 208 and 3 fifths for driver David Brickle. The leader, Caviar's Dancer, Charming Fellow, comes to the outside second. Caviar's Dancer, Charming Fellow, second. It's Caviar's Dancer. In the second split, Cantab Lady won in 208 and 1 for catch driver Bobby Rouget. The Dunn Stable owns Cantab Lady, who picked up her first win of the year in her eighth start. Boots Dunn is the winning trainer. In the final division, Sturgeon remained undefeated in two fair starts, winning in 2-11 and 3 fifths for driver Kyle Bolin. Top of the field with the lead, opening up, it's Sturgeon and Kyle Bolin. Outside he goes second to the wire, Sturgeon! 
the first Colt Pacing Division, Corey's Artist, a gelding by Real Artist, was a 205 and 3 5 winner for driver Rod Bolin. Vicky Fair owns the first time winner for the year, who set a new lifetime mark in the effort. Roger Hammer earned the training victory. Brickle picked up his third driving victory of the day behind Straight Character, a shady character Colt. Owned and trained by Bob Kronitsky Jr., Straight Character won in 201 and 4 fifths. Character brings him into this track. He's going to win us there, please. Straight character and David Brickle. The battle's on for second. That draw man missed on for dignity. It's straight character. In the final Colt pacing split, it was all DVC gifted indeed on his home track for J.R. Brewer in 201 and 1 5th. He's opened up now by seven. Mickey Robin Coat second. Closing on the outside, high wire cap, down the stretch they come, it's all DVC, gifted and D. Four groups of sophomore pacing fillies end of the day, with NF Native Lady holding on to win the first division in 205 for George Height. High up the inside, down the stretch they come, NF Native Lady, BPI, coming to the wire, it's all George Height! In the third division, Chris Shaw made it back-to-back -back wins, guiding SJ's Blissful Lady to a 205 and 1 5th win. The day concluded with a win by Bud Girls Hanover and driver Brad Provost in the final Philly division. Owned by Randy Ringer, Bud Girls Hanover is trained by Ray Sims. The winning time was 204 and 2 fifths.